Hey y'all, it's Andrea from Andrea's Cooktails. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like every time I'm roaming up and down the aisles of a grocery store, I run across some odd out of the ordinary ingredient that either I've never seen before or I've just been too scared to use. And as an experienced cook for that to happen to me, I know it must happen to you all the time. With that thought in mind, I was thinking, why not do a video series called, What Do You Do With That? So every week I'll be taking a new ingredient, talking to you about it, giving you some information on it, the flavor profile, and also I'll be featuring two to three recipes using that ingredient along with tons of ideas on what else to do with it. So the first thing we're going to start with today, an unusual ingredient that maybe you guys have seen before, maybe you haven't, are smoked oysters. Now, I don't want you to be alarmed because these do come in a can. They are in the same section as tuna and crab that is canned. But what I like to do is drain and rinse these guys. And I have a funny story about them. Before I even ate seafood, I was at my father-in-law's house and he had the appetizer set out that I'm about to make for you today. But I was terrified and my husband actually talked me in to trying the appetizer, trying smoked oysters for the very first time. And I have to be honest, I absolutely loved it. So we're gonna be talking about a lot of ingredients in this series that are kind of weird and might freak you out a little bit, but I can promise you that nothing is ever gonna go on my blog that's not absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. This is a smoked oyster cracker bite, and it is such an easy appetizer, and it's absolutely perfect for a quick party get together. So the first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna take a fancy cracker. And what I like most about this appetizer is it's very delicate and fancy without being expensive. You'll pay anywhere from two to three dollars on these canned smoked oysters. And this makes such a beautiful appetizer. So you're gonna have your little cracker first and you're just gonna smother it with cream cheese. Now cream cheese makes everything taste delectable, delicious, wonderful. So you know we're already off to a good start. So you just do a very good serving of cream cheese on there. And then I have just drained and rinsed my smoked oysters. I just take one of them, just like this, place it right on top, and then I'm gonna do a little bit of finishing salt, just because it needs a little bit more flavor. They're gonna have a little salt from what they were marinating in, in the can, but we've rinsed a lot of that off, so you want that good, fresh salt flavor. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little southern to this. We're putting hot pepper jelly right over the top. It brings some color to the little cracker, it gives it flavor, and it just also makes it just perfect, so good. Okay, so from there, we're just gonna set it on our plate, and because seafood is so great with dill, or dill is so great with seafood, and I love a green little garnish to add more color, I'm just gonna add a little sprig right on top. And I've made a plate of these guys here, so you can see how absolutely fancy and adorable they all are. I mean, look at this. This is so cute. You would not, your guests would be so thrilled to have this at a party and you don't even have to tell them what it is. Just watch them bite into it and see how much they love it and then they're gonna be asking what it is. So for more unique, unusual, crazy ingredient ideas, continue to visit my YouTube channel, Andrea's Cooktails, and for all of those great recipes, go to my blog, andreascooktails.com. I'll have two more recipes of this smoked, for the, with these smoked oysters this week, and I look forward to seeing you and giving you more great, crazy, unusual ideas. Hey y'all, it's me. I just realized that I never took a bite of these delicious oyster crackers, and I didn't want y'all to think that I was a fraud. So, I was gonna try one of these and tell you guys how delicious it is. Mm. So good. I like how meaty it is and it's creamy. And then you've got sweet, spicy, and then of course smoky from that oyster. This appetizer 
is an absolute winner, guys. You gotta have it at your next party.